Because my second in command, Andrew, is basically the person who watches me the most. They watch my stream. They watch me. It's so funny because my cousin's like, oh, well, what's this going on with all this uh, clips and stuff? <laughs> no, that's not how my cousin is. Because my cousin was in a uh, dress-up suit making a video about themselves, and they're like, with all beard going, yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, that, seriously, that's what my cousin was doing. <laughs> yeah, no. First of all, would you be kind to close the uh, co lamp door? Because do that. No? Alright, I'm gonna get it. I, I'm gonna close it myself. <clears throat> How are you doing? Go on. Go on. <clears throat> alrighty, 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 alrighty. Mr. Tristan here. Is that right? Alright. Let's do our first, let's fire up the old Twitter account. <laughs> so, you guys love the dream? You guys ready to get this fucking rolling? <laughs> if you've not subscribed, please do. And if you're not hit post notifications, please do. And finally. Ooh, what's tune in today? Let's tune in today. Let's tune in. Today. How you guys doing? You guys doing good? Good. So. Today, we need to make ourselves more official. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So that way I don't look like I'm in my sleep clothes. Sleep clothes in the right. All right, good. Let's go and get this fired up. What? That much more better. That way I don't look like I'm in my sleep clothes. Now I'm much more official. So yes, so, to, so in today's video, in, in today's lecture on the learning target, the Boston accent target, is um, we have some things we got to talk about today in regards to something that I want to talk about for a long time. So, will you listen to me for a moment? Listen up, listen up, listen up. So, with that being said, there is all kinds of things that go around. And when you see things going around, you notice things. Things such as people and the way how people behave. So let me go and talk, let me go and get this off on the right foot. There are these people who have around every night have been seen around the around like around six, just about before dusk. These people who walk in the bike lane every day. There is a woman. And there is a man. And occasionally, I've seen the man walk with looks like his son or something. Now, however, I have made a video about them in the past thinking that it that makes me sick. Now, of course, I don't know if they are actually mentally challenged or not. If they are, they are. If they're not, they're not. But basically, basically as simple as it is. So, because I was wrong in my first theory, i do this. Now it's time to be cleansed 
of all of the negativity that we have missed, that we have designed about these people. And the right theory that we know about them from what I've seen from experience. I salute! I sound to you people. Sound good? Good. So these people, they have been seen. They've been seen in the bike lane. Going. Either opposite direction or going direction. But either way, I've been seeing them a lot in the bike lane. Now I know what village they come from and they actually, they don't come from DW's village, they actually come from a couple of people's villages. But they're in a village about halfway down. And so I've, I've seen them walk to their house. I've seen them walk. And I don't really know, realistically know if they are mentally challenged or if they are not. Maybe they could be mentally challenged. Maybe they're not. I, I, in theory, do not know whether or not they're mentally challenged. And if they are mentally challenged, then I would go and, uh, you know, figure that out. But, however, they seem to be somewhat social. And, you know, so now we're going to break it down into two people. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So, the man. He's this man. I believe that they're, I believe the family that walks is Indian because for one, they look Indian and I'm pretty sure they are. And two, I've seen one person wearing Indian headgear, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but in conclusion, you know when there's like, you can tell when there's someone of a specific race, whether Indian, Hispanic, um, black, Asian, white, you name it. You can, you can recognize who it is. So the man, he is a little more slow walking. He walks in the bike lane, not paying attention. Well, I think, well, he's paying attention, but I don't know if he is mentally challenged or not. He walks very slowly in the bike lane, just keeps on going where he's going. And I've seen him on a ton of occasions. I do apologize for the noise downstairs. That's unavoidable at this moment. And we're just walking around in the bike lane. And I've always had to get out of the bike lane and then get back over. The man will not move. He will not move over the side. He will not move at all. He will stay in that bike lane until you ended up, until he gets hit. Because I always have to leave the bike lane. Get over. And there's been occasion times where I've seen this guy looking at me as I'm going by. Like, he'll look at me as I'm, like, 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 on the bike looking at me as I'm going by. So, and then there's the occasion, the occasion where I see him walking with a, um, like his son or something. Walking with him in the bike lane. And the son seems more aware than he is. And I don't know if, if they are mentally challenged or not, but... I always have to get out of the bike lane and then get back over. And I, and I see this, and I pass this guy multiple, multiple times, almost every single day. But the guy doesn't normally wave at me. He doesn't normally wave at me. He just walks and just focuses on it. I see the guy every single day walking by. So I get out of the bike lane and I get back over. But there's also been another theory is the woman. So I've seen the woman walking in the bike lane as well. Occasionally she would have her earbuds in or on her phone, whatever. So it either seems that she is more, um, that she knows what she's doing. Now in the video I made about it was whether or not someone actually knew that they needed to get over, you know, that's the real thing that's going on. Now the thing is, this this girl, this woman, whatever, actually steps close to the curb so I can get by. Now as of course, I leave the lane because there's not enough room for me and it's gonna be a close fit and all that wind is just gonna go whew, right past you. Well, that's why I exit the lane 
I get back over in the lane, and then once and then when I'm there, I'm there. And so, when I exit the lane, I go down the lane, and that's where I go. Yes. So what I do is whenever I see someone, I get out of the lane and I go back over to the lane. Right. So I don't know if now actually most recently. The girl actually looked at me in my direction because there was this uh, car that was taking forever to pull out. And it's like they were getting ready to go and they just kind of sat there. So I said, come on, let's go. And, um, and the girl looked at me. <laughs> maybe they heard it, maybe they didn't. But, you know, they seem to be more aware than the man is because the man has someone walking with them. So I don't know, but they're out there by themselves not with each other and they're walking out in the bike lane and they're not paying attention. So with that being said, there is all kinds of statistics in regards to how someone is. Now I've seen these people and they seem to be more, they seem to be more social, like they talk to each other. So they obviously are not like mentally challenged, but they might have some disability in some way where they are not exactly um, talking, where they're not exactly themselves. Well, if that makes any sense. Where they're not exactly going around to taking care of the situation or um, whether or not they actually are there themselves. So, part, there's two theories. One, that they are mentally challenged. Two, they have some kind of disability. Now the thing is, when you're around these people, and if you don't, if you don't know who I'm talking about, understand that when you see these people, you need to realize that they may not have the ability to avoid a passing bike. You know? And I've seen them on a regular occasion. It seems like they got something going on. I don't know if they're husband and wife or brother and sister. I don't know what they are, but from what I've from what I've seen, they do seem to have something going on with them. Now I'm not saying that they are mental or anything like that, but there's something about them that they don't specifically seem like they have a disability, and they're walking out in the bike lane without supervision and. You know, there's a slight chance that if a cyclist would be coming down that lane, the cyclist might knock it over and bam, he's going to hit the guy and he's going to hit the guy or the girl. You know, that's because the thing is, these, there's a lot of naive cyclists out there that don't pay attention. Like, I get cyclists that pass me every single day going over 30 miles an hour and like going over 20 and I can only go 15 and they just whiz by me. Part of, part of me feels like I'm defeated. Another part of me feels like, dude, these guys are crazy. And what if that was somebody who um, was not, was naive? You know what I mean? And that's part of the reason why I put this person and them out there. Because, you know, it kind of did make me feel sick. Because, you know, you're letting someone who may not have the ability to make judgment calls to get out of the way or move and you know but obviously they've been fine but I'm gonna tell you this the man will not move over the girl the woman might she'll move over just a little bit but she's not gonna move over but if she sees you or the husband sees you the husband usually goes against the traffic either direction I've, I've mostly seen them on the right side going around the loop so with that being said, that's our statistic, you know, because, you know, with disabilities and everything, and I, you know, I'm not trying to make a controversy or anything, but people think that, man, someone's slamming the door. When someone has a disability, they think that they, you know, someone with a bad disability can do something that you know, not a person could, you know, it could be someone with, um, with, with OCD 
in the bike lane and they may not be aware of what's going on around them without earbuds or anything like that while someone that might have another disability might so you can't necessarily make judgment calls on that so it's kind of part of the reason why you have to be aware right yes go ahead Alrighty, 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 alrighty. I'm going to get a clip of this. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So, you people. You people have, and they take it in school of Google. And as for you people, you are to make sure that you like, and you guys comment, and you guys subscribe. Please. Because I only get like one, I'm even lucky if I get one view. Because my second in command, Andrew, is basically the person who watches me the most. They watch my stream. They watch my... <laughs> it's so funny because my cousin's like, oh, well, what's this going on with all this uh, clips and stuff? <laughs> no, that's not how my cousin is. Because my cousin was in a uh, dress up suit making a video about themselves, and they're like, with all beard going, yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, seriously, that's what my cousin was doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So with that being said, people. So before we get to the... There is one other thing that we have to do. We're going to go way back machine, and there's going to be an egg ticket. Right? So by the power of Jumanji and Miss Gina... I'll see you guys in the video. Let's go and go back in the way back to the game. Ready, steady, 